Before applying makeup, I will always prep my skin. So now I'm using the treatment lotion from La Mer to prep, hydrate, and refresh my skin. I love using this product because it just leaves my skin feeling really soft and supple. After toner, I'm going to use the La Mer Moisturizing Matte Lotion to moisturize and hydrate my skin. It smoothens and refreshes my skin without leaving a trace of grease and it just feels super weightless. And I think this product is just perfect for those who have oily skin. I'm really into moisturizing lately, so now I'm going to further hydrate my skin with the Clinique Moisture Surge Hydrating Supercharged Concentrate. It gets absorbed into my skin really quickly without leaving any tackiness on my skin. Now, the last step of my skin prepping is using the YSL Instant Glow Moisture. I use this as a primer as well to prep my skin before applying my foundation because the formula helps to blur imperfections as well other than hydrating. So for this makeup, I'm going for a radiant rosy dewy look. So I'm going to use the Chanel Gel Touch Foundation to brighten up my complexion. This foundation is great for your everyday healthy glowy makeup. However, if you're looking for a full coverage foundation, this is definitely not going to be your choice because it only provides light coverage. But nonetheless, this foundation definitely helps to even out your skin tone and bring a hint of rosiness to your skin. I'm applying the same way I apply my other BB cushions, which is using the tapping motion, and it blends pretty well on my skin and leaves my skin with a sheer dewy finish. To conceal my dark circles and blemishes around my nose and forehead, I'm using the Benefit Boy Hydrating Concealer and blending it with the cushion puff that I just used for my foundation. Now I'm setting my base makeup with the powder from La Mer. This is honestly one of the best translucent powders that I've ever used. It sets my makeup impeccably and leaves my skin looking poreless and flawless. The best thing is, it doesn't dry out or leave my skin looking cakey at all. Moving on to my brows, I'm first going to shape my brows with the Benefit Cabral Brow Gel according to my natural brow shape. Now I'm just filling in the sparse area with the Benefit Foolproof Brow Powder in shade number 3. To create a sleek and clean finish, I'm going to brush the Shurimura Brow Comb in the shade Almond Glaze on my brow hair. It actually makes your brows look more well-groomed and more well-defined. Lastly, for my brows, I'm going to use the Shurimura Ambush Brow Manicure in Classic Gold, which is something like a tinted brow gel to lighten my brows and give them a more multi-dimensional effect. For the eyes, I'll be using the Sleek Also Special Eye Divine Eyeshadow Palette. First, I'm going to sweep bow on the entire lid as a base. Next, I'm applying Organza which is a beautiful shimmering rose gold shade on my entire lid. Then, I'm mixing ribbon and the male together and blend them on the crease for a soft and diffused look. I'm also smudging these two colors on my lower lash line as well. Using a smaller and denser brush, I'm going to smudge box, which is a dark brown shade along my lash line to add some contrast and make my eyes pop. Then I'm just going to draw a thin eyeliner and add a small wing at the outer corner of my eyes with the Too Faced sketch marker in brown.
Now I'm just curling my lashes with my favorite Muji eyelash curler and apply my favorite mascara, which is the Double Glam Mascara from Pony Effect. For this look, I will be doing some light contour on the hollows of my cheeks, my jawline and my nose bridge to enhance the features naturally with the Marc Jacobs Omega Bond. After contouring, I'm going to pop a generous amount of the Too Faced Papa Don't Peach Blush on my cheeks for a youthful and innocent look. I'm also applying the blush across my nose for a sun-kissed look. And of course, a glowy look wouldn't be complete without a highlighter. Here, I'm sweeping the Becca Light Chaser Highlighter in Opal Flashes Jade on the highest points of my face. And lastly for the lips, I'm going for this brownish nude lipstick from Makeup Forever and this color looks so natural and pretty for everyday makeup. Now that we have done with the makeup, we have to set and seal our hard work. And here I'm using the NYX Dewy Finish Setting Spray. Well, the makeup is already done, but I just want to try out this thicker freckle trend that is circulating on YouTube lately. And so I'm just sticking some flower and round 3D stickers across my face for a more special festive look. So what do you think? Please give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment if you like this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys!